Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part six of the same topic. We already done few questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So five cubes of side six meter each are placed side by side and stuck together to form a cuboid. So these like this will be because it is a cube. So they are they will be like this. They are stuck side by side. So these are one, two, and this when we together it forms a this will be the shape of a cuboid. If the outer surface is to be painted at rupees three per meter square, find the total cost of the painting. So now the length of cubes. So now see one cube. This is here. So when this we can consider this as six meter. So if five are together, they are stuck. So this is going to be this whole part is going to be the length of it. So we can write a six into five that is thirty meters. So be careful with this step. So the width will be the same. This because the width is going to be the same, and the height also is going to be the same. So now that is six meter and six meter. So we have to take the surface area of the cuboid. So the surface area of a cuboid is that is see length into width into height. So that will be because here this is a surface area. This is a cuboid. So what will you do? Length into width plus width into height, and then you will take length into height. So twice into length into width plus W H plus L H. So here it will be two into and this all the dimensions are given here so you have to just plug in the values over here so now what you can see twice will be same this will be 180 plus 36 plus 180 so this is going to be all together will be 396 and when you multiply this one that is going to be 792 meters square so now it is given that if the uh, this is find the total cost of the painting, but before that, it is given that if the outer surface is to be painted at rupees 3 per meter square. So, cost of painting 1 meter square that is rupees 3. So, the, for the cost of painting for this one, 792 meter square. So, what will you do? You are going to cross multiply. So, this is one. So, this 792 divide multiply by 3 and divide by 1. You usually don't write 1. So, when you multiply this one, that is going to be rupees. 2376. A 7 meter long cylindrical wire. So, this is the cylindrical wire has a radius of the radius of this is 8 mm. So, now this is a long the height of this one. Whenever there is a long name, this is the height of it that is 7 meter, and the radius of but that is in meter, and this is in mm millimeter. Find the curved surface area of the wire. So, First, what we will do, radius of cylindrical wire, that is 8 mm. So, that we have to convert it. So, how did I get here? 0 0.008. So, I have shown you the calculation here. So, many times, like uh, many of them are confused, like how to do from mm to convert to meter. So, I have done in two steps. Like, see, first thing you know, that is 10 mm, you know the scale. There are divisions over there, 1, 2, 3, and so on. In between, it starts from 0. In between that, there, there are 10 divisions. So that is millimeters. So 10 mm is 1 centimeter from here to here. This is in centimeter. So 10 mm is 1 centimeter. So we have here 8 mm. So now let us convert this in centimeter first. So 8 mm is going to be 8. This when you cross multiply, 8, 8 ones are 8 divided by 10. That is going to be 0 0.8 because you know 8 and divide by 10 is there is 1 0. So that is going to be you are going to go backwards one and put a decimal so 0 0.8 centimeter but we want the answer in meter so now again what will you do here 100 centimeter means now we are going to do between the centimeter and meter so 100 centimeter means one meter then we have here 0 0.8 centimeter so that will be how much so again we are, we are going to cross multiply so 0 0.8 divided by 100 so now see here again if you are confused for this step i'll show you then this is 0 0.8 without the calcium how will you do 8 divided by 10 and this is divided by 100 so here is 1 so this is the numerator this is the denominator so that is going to be 8 by 10 into 1 by 100 so how many zeros are there 1 2 3 so what will you write here 8 you will write and you will go backwards by 3 1 
2 and 3 point 2 and 3 and then you are going to put a decimal so the that is 0 0.008 meter so hope this part is clear to you so now other things are easy so the height is given that is 7 meter that is given that is long means the height of the cylinder so we have the formula for the curved surface area that is 2 pi rh for the cylinder so 2 into pi we can also either consider 3.14 or we can make it to 22 by 7 and r we got as this is 0 0.008 into the height is 7 so now this 7 and 7 gets cut so when you multiply this so you get 0 0.352 that is meter square in a bakery store 250 cubicle boxes are required the length of the edge of each box measures 20 centimeter how many cardboard sheets of size 50 centimeter into 50 centimeter will be required to make these boxes so the age of the cube is given that is given as 20 centimeter so surface area of a cube means that is the formula is 6 s square so now we this age means this is s the side so now this 6 into 20 square so 20 square is going to be 20 into 20 that is going to be 400 so 6 into 400 that will be 2400 centimeter square now so you, this is for one cube that is a 2400 centimeter cube but there are how many cubicle boxes this side is 250 so surface area for 250 boxes means you have to multiply this with 250 into 2400 so you get this one that is centimeter square so now what did they say here how many cardboard sheets of size 50 centimeter into 50 centimeter will be required to make this one so now we will see the area of the cardboard sheet that is 15 to 50 means that is going to be 2500 centimeter square but we need the number of sheets required so number of sheets means the surface area of that this 250 boxes divided by this area of one cardboard sheet so that will be when you uh, divide it so you can see this goes with 25 that will be 240 so that is the answer is going to be 240 sheets a cylindrical roller is used to polish a rectangular table the length of the roller is 0 0.75 meter and the diameter is here the diameter is given 0 0.21 meter if the roller rolls over the table 20 times completely find the area of the table so the diameter of the roller is 0 0.21 meter so now first let us find the radius of the roller so you know uh, this ra the radius is going to be diameter by 2 so what will you write here 0 0.21 divided by 2 so now we will not simplify this further let us keep this as it is because we have, we have to put this value later on in the formula so now the height of the roller is given this is given as uh, 0 that is the length means that is the cylindrical so means that is the height so 0 0.75 meter so curved surface area the formula because it is a cylinder that is 2 pi rh so now you have 2 into 22 by 7 and now for r you can put here 0 0.21 divided by 2 and the height is 0 0.75 now see here this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled now be careful with this one when you are dividing this one so uh, divided by 7 means it is going to be 7 3 is a 21 but after two numbers is a decimal so you will put here one zero and then here so be careful with this it is going to be 0 0.03 and not 0 0.3 because there is a confusion always whether it's 0 0.3 or 0 0.03 so you have to whenever there is a decimal you have to be very careful so now when you are going to multiply this one so that is going to be 0 0.4950 meter square so now roller uh, this one rolls over the table sorry so that is rolls over the table that is 20 times so now what will you do here so that uh, total area is going to be 0 0.4950 into 20 so that will be 9.9 .9 meter square the sum of the area of floor and ceiling that is the sum of this one of a room is equal to the area of the four walls so if the room is 24 meter long and 16 meter wide find the height of the room so now let me let us consider the height of the room b x h so the area of the floor and ceiling so that is going to be two because uh, if both have the length width plus width height plus the length height so that is the 
area of the flow then ceiling flow then ceiling is going to be the same so we are going to take twice into this one and the area of four walls that is twice into this will be length into height plus width into height so that is going to be now this will be we are given the dimensions are given the length is 24 and the width is 16 so we are going to plug it here and we don't know the height so let us write that h as it is so now this is going to be 24h plus this 16h so this total is going to be 48 so that will be 8h meter square so now area of the room means it is in the form of this the length and the this one in the form of a rectangle so we can write here the dimensions are given here 24 and 16 if the room is in the form of this in this shape so this is going to be 24 and this is going to be 16 so that is length into width that is when you multiply this one you get 384 meter square so now ceiling has same dimensions at floor so area of ceiling is given the area of room is 384 so area of ceiling is going to be 384 so now what are going to do area of floor and ceiling together what will be that so this we got 384 and this 384 so that is going to be when you add it you are going to get 6, 768 meter square now they are they said the sum of area of floor and ceiling is equal to area of four walls that is given here sum of the area of floor and ceiling of a room is equal to the area of four walls so now what did we get here sum of area of uh, this one area of floor and ceiling we got this as 768 plus so 768 is equal to area of four walls so what did we get here area of four walls we got this as 80h so we'll write is equal to 80h so now this will bring it on this side 80 on the other side so it will get divided that will be h and when we divide this one we get 9.6 meter that is the height so we can say height of the room is 9.6 meter find the cost of plastering the inner surface of a well with diameter 3.5 meter and depth 10 meter at the rate of rupees 45 per meter square so diameter of this well is given as 3.5 meter radius of well is going to be the half of this one half of it so we can write this 3.5 divided by 2 meter and the height of well is given that is the depth is the height that is given as 10 meter so couch surface area of this one because now see this is the well so the couch surface area of well that is 2 pi r h so it is in the form of a cylinder so that will be 2 into 22 by 7 into r we got this as 3.5 divided by 2 and the height is 10 so your 2 ones are 2 fives are 7 ones are 7 0 0.5 so when you multiply this together that is going to be 110 meters square now what did they say that uh, this the rate is given as cost of this one is rupees 45 per meter square so for one meter cost of plastering for one meter square that is rupees 45 so now we can see cost of plastering for this one 110 meter square so you are going to cross multiply this one so this will be 110 into 45 that is going to be rupees 4950 so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you